Okay, the third example, and it's probably one of those that's going to make you um, curse your examiner when you see it, especially because we all of a sudden see fractions, and we hate fractions, don't we? Well, we shouldn't. Okay, well, one thing you'll notice that this is going to be very difficult to subtract two consecutive terms every time. Okay, because I need to find the um, const uh, or, or a, a common denominator and then multiply and subtract and it's not going to be that difficult. If you find something like that, just try to be a little bit more creative. So, for example, here, um, just deal with the numerator and the denominator um, differently. Okay, so treat them separately. So, 16 minus 7, in this case, we find is 9. And so is 25 minus 16. And so is 34 minus 25. And so on. So I see that for my numerator I have a sequence itself. So in the end I'm going to to find my general term I'm going to find a general term for my numerator let's call it n little n divided by a general term for my denominator so just like that. Okay so I hope I'm not confusing you with that but, uh, but try following me. So what about the denominator? What do we notice there? Well, 23 minus 5 gives me 18. Okay, 20, uh, 41 minus 23 also gives me 18. And just to confirm once more, 59 minus 41, what do you know? Also 18. And I'm quite confident this will be the same. Okay, so let's go and find the general term for my numerator's sequence. So my numerator call it nn okay, and we're going to substitute it back there a little bit later but nn okay still an arithmetic sequence why arithmetic well we notice that it's got a constant difference between the terms so it's a plus n minus 1 b okay a being the first term which is 7 plus n minus 1 d being the constant difference in this case 9 and then when I simplify it, I get 9n, 7 minus 9 gives me negative 2. And there is what I'm going to write in my numerator, 9n minus 2. How about my denominator? So do you see how easy this is? I'm sure, you have struggled for hours. Okay, if you, if you don't think creatively from the very start. Okay, so the denominator also constant difference which means it's an arithmetic sequence so n minus 1 times d a being the first term which is 5 plus n minus 1 okay we keep the n because we're busy with the general term so we keep n and my constant difference is 18 this time and now this time I see okay 18 n if I simplify it a little bit 18 n and then 5 minus 18 gives me negative 13. Okay, so 18 n minus 13. And look at that. That is a very intense general term. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is not an arithmetic sequence. In itself, it's not an arithmetic sequence. But the numerator and the denominator forms an arithmetic sequence. But there we go, general term for this vicious thing.